Maybe the Seuss is just some kind of giant fish. Maybe all I need to do to solve this mystery is do what I do best, go fishing. But just as I'm starting to get comfortable with what I'm looking for, I get thrown a wild card. Something is investigating the bait, and there's part of me looking at that water that is saying, I hope it's only a small one. But actually, what I really want is a big one. That is direct to a fish. It feels like the bottom, but it's actually a fish. I'm just gonna... It hasn't woken up, it doesn't know it's hooked yet. Look at that rod, but it still doesn't actually know it's hooked. Take this easy. Be ready for it to run though, it might well run. It's actually in very close. There's the trace. The fish is going to be visible very soon. Go, ah, see the bubbles. Oh! Turtle, turtle, turtle. I've just got the mother of all turtles. The mother of all turtles. Although they're hardly ever seen, these waters are home to the biggest freshwater turtles in the world. This one would weigh in at about 200 pounds. That's heavier than I am. Could the Seuss be a turtle? Big stone here, big stone. Big stone here! They sure have the attitude. That neck is nearly half its body length. You need to cut the, cut the line. Blimey, O'Reilly. The reason these creatures are so rare is they're a favorite food. Turtles here are eaten. If the Seuss was a turtle, the people would have just told me. Yeah, but could it be the killer? Um, soft shell turtle. Very vicious jaws this end, but uh, not quite what I was after. Turtles are not active predators. They're scavengers. They just sit and wait, fattening themselves up. And the chances of a turtle grabbing a swimmer, it doesn't really add up, let alone snatch a fully grown buffalo. At least this one gets to fight another day. Bye bye and don't come back. <laughs>